Hey guys, welcome to TC10. I already have one chapstick, but because I love y'all, and this is part of my routine now when I do videos, I applied some more. So thank you for being here to help me re-moisturize my dry ass lips. Today we're going to do another look with the Platinum Nava Cutie Palette. And excuse my mood, I didn't sleep well. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. So I doubt if I even hit REM sleep, and so I'm just really out of it today. But Again, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna prime my eye, of course, with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm gonna blend that in with the Sephora number 47 Stippling Concealer Brush. It's a flat angle. I just realized I didn't do my brows. Do y'all care? Is it noticeable? I mean, I know the tails aren't there, but does it really make that much of a difference? It does. All right, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm going to speed through it using the Fenty Brow MVP in Soft Black. We have tails. What a difference it makes. We're going to go straight in with the one shade we didn't use yesterday, and I'm going to put this on the lid with a Real Techniques Insta Pop Shader Brush. We're going to go in with the V33 Eason Brush and we're going to take this shade here, which is a sparkly shade, and so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. And we're going to put that here. We're going to take the Real Techniques Insta Pop Crease Brush and we're going to take this shade here as a brow bone highlight. Back with um, a crease shade brush with no additional color. We're going to go in with this shade, same brush. We're going to wipe it off. We're also going to run that under the lower lash line with the same brush. And we're also going to take that same shade with the Eastam V09 and use that for our lash line. We're going to take the Sephora Smoky Eye Brush. This is an older one, you can tell because it has a silver handle. And we're going to take this dark shade here and we're going to run that closer to the lash line on our lower lash line. Crease brush, no additional shadow. Say it with me. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. That'll be the most energy I use all day. <laughs> I am not going to wipe off my chapstick. I'm going to take the color Carnation in the KVD. Actually, this is an older one because it does say Kat Von D on here. So this is not KDV Beauty. This is an older product. And we're going to put this one over. I wish I could identify what the scent is. I like that. I like this wand because it's flat this way so you can lay the color down or you can turn it sideways or just use the tip of it to line your lips with it. I really like that. This is the finished look. I think the lip might be a little too light for the eyes. Ooh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Hollyhock which still might, I don't know, might be too dark. It's darker than this one. I don't know. Is that any better? <laughs> Did you prefer it with the first color, Carnation, or do you prefer this eye look with this color, which is Hollyhock? I'm not sure. Probably neither. Maybe a neutral lip? I don't know. This look, I like. I hope the sparkle is coming through. I think this will be a great eye look for if you're going out to dinner. If you're younger than me, I'm 52. Oh my gosh, I'm 51. If you're younger than me and you're still out clubbing, 
I think this would be great for that. We're going out to dinner because it is a very sparkly shade. I was a little hesitant to put um, a sparkle shade in my crease, but I like how it turned out and I did put a matte shade on top of it. I do like the look. I'm not sure what we're, what we're looking like for fallout. It is closer to my eye. It's the long here and a few specks over here versus yesterday's video that uploaded. It was like on my face. It was like up here on my forehead. It was... <laughs> anyway, I think it helped that I did put the lid shade on first because the Fenty primer is a tacky primer and so it did adhere very well and ironically the fallout is that first shade and it's very close to my lash line like right here and so that's I want to say strange but what's strange in makeup